Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and keep watching. Today I'm going to be talking about boot camps, my experience, things to look out for and the pros and cons. So keep watching. The thing is about boot camps is that they're very flipping expensive. Like I remember when I was doing my research and I was looking for um, ways to get into tech and boot camps kept popping up as an option but they're just so expensive like we're talking 10 20 grand sometimes and i don't have that sort of money so <laughs> i remember like feeling really daunted by that and thankfully in my case i was in a very unique situation where the boot camp i ended up applying for was not only free but they were covering travel and food expenses so the boot camp that I signed up for was being delivered by Code First Girls who teamed up with BT to deliver a four month intensive course and I didn't have to pay a penny for that. So I feel like if I had to pay for that boot camp, I don't think I would have been able to apply because I just didn't have the money for that at the time. So I was really lucky in the sense that my boot camp was free. I don't know if they're still doing um, this sort of boot camp at the moment. And I'm assuming like with the whole COVID situation, things are probably being disrupted. But that was the boot camp that I did and it was free. So that's just a brief explanation about my boot camp in terms of costs. In terms of what the boot camp actually consisted of, so my boot camp was broken down um, into web development, Python learning, and we did a bit of SQL and like one week of cybersecurity. And the last module was to be done in the workplace. So another thing about my boot camp was that BT at the time were actively looking for ways to get more women into tech. So part of the boot camp course that I did was if I had passed my assessments and I passed the interview stages, I would then be doing my last modules in the workplace at BT. So the last module was agile and it makes sense for that module to be done in a practical work environment because there's only so much you can implement agile and you need to practically apply it. It's not just something you just learn and go away. It's something that is trying to be implemented in a lot of workplaces. So that was the last module and you could only do that module if you um, passed your interviews for roles that you were applying for. And that's what happened in my case. So I applied for some roles at BT and I got my role, which is the role that I'm in right now. And so I did the last module on Agile and that was the bootcamp completed after that. Um, with web development, it was HTML, CSS, a little bit of JavaScript and the majority of the bootcamp was very Python heavy and I guess it, it was just their preference and Python tends to be a very beginner friendly programming language anyway. So that's just a brief overview of what my bootcamp consisted of. It was intense, guys. And for me, the learning curve when it came to coding was steep. I did not pick up coding very quickly. It took a long time for things for me to click and I struggled in the bootcamp. I, I generally struggled a lot. It was intense learning and it was just so much new information that I was like struggling to keep up with. But then eventually I got into the swing of things. Um, so yeah, like, if you are thinking of a boot camp, just know that the learning is very, very intense. Um, I really liked my cohort. Uh, I, I'm, I'm still in touch with a lot of the people that I was on the boot camp with. I actually made some really good friends from there. So the learning environment was fine. It was just very intense. So <laughs> if you are applying to a boot camp or you're about to start a boot camp, uh, a coding boot camp course, bear that in mind. Another thing also is that there were times where when I look back, I should have probably um, 
prepared a bit more before starting the course like i did a few like uh, videos on code academy here and there but i felt like i could have done more before i started the actual boot camp just so it would have um, lessened the learning curve for me personally that's something that i would advise you to take into account like if you've just been accepted to a boot camp course make sure that you're prepping yourself consistently before your actual start date i wish i had done that more so keep that in mind in terms of uh whether it's worth paying for a boot camp or not it depends on a few things um i feel like one thing a lot of people might not be aware of is that many boot camps are training you to do full stack development for the most part unless a boot camp specifically says this is for just front end web development this is just for ux or this is just for cyber security unless they make it specifically clear that this boot camp is very specialized more often than not the boot camp is gonna prep you or give you the foundation for full stack developing so front end back end a bit of databases that was basically a summary of how my boot camp was like and when i was even researching that tended to be the case across the board so bear that in mind when you're thinking of whether you want to invest in doing a boot camp or not in terms of whether the boot camp is worth applying for i would say find people that have already completed that boot camp course and reach out to them on linkedin on social media and get their feedback that was one thing that i was doing a lot even though i knew that i didn't have like 10 grand sitting around to just pay for a boot camp course or whatever um i was still doing my research i was looking at all the people that completed the course and what jobs they were doing now and i would reach out to them on linkedin and just ask them about their experience i think that's one of the best things you can do especially because you're going to be investing a lot of money if you are choosing to go for a boot camp keep that in mind like i mentioned before a lot of boot camps are very full stack heavy so if you're not too sure if you want to do full stack development i would say look for as many alternatives as possible to pick up the skill that you want before jumping into applying for a boot camp especially if um, you don't exactly know what you want to do within the tech industry there are so many free resources online that you can get started on and you can actually build things youtube free code camp code academy and so many more i also have a google doc with a breakdown of my current job and the things that i'm learning as well as the resources that i use to learn those skills so i'm going to also attach that in the description below just so you have a roadmap that you can start off with because i know how overwhelming it can be where when you want to learn how to code or you want to get into tech or just development in general and you just don't know where to start because there's so much information so i've included that in the description below it's a roadmap that i created um i also have a parent and child friendly version of it so if you do have kids or if you're a parent yourself or you're just looking to find a way to engage with your kids to get them into the habit of programming or if you want to be more aware of it i also created a roadmap for you guys as well so check that out personally for me i did my boot camp because the opportunity was there and at that point i realized i wanted to learn how to code and ultimately it was free i felt like if that course was not free um i personally wouldn't have applied to it because i just wouldn't have been able to afford it so you know that was for my personal situation i just happened to be really lucky and the timing was there if however you're really motivated to apply for a boot camp you've done your research you think it's the right thing for you again ask people that have already done the boot camp but also read the description of what they're promoting in the course and then on top of that read the reviews under it because 
there are some courses while it's expensive you can spread the cost and you can either pay it later when you're actually employed and pay that money back so i know there's makers academy where you can do a course and it is it, it does charge you a couple grand but i think when you start your job that's when you start paying that money back so look for boot camps of that option if that's something that you want to do aside from that if you've realized oh my gosh boot camps are too expensive i can't afford it but i just want to get started like i've mentioned before i've created a google doc um where i break down my current job role so you can see what my job actually looks like and i've attached free resources to help you get started i know it's overwhelming but there really is a lot of free information and courses and videos you can do to get you up and going i'll also leave a link down below to code first girls if you're a woman who wants to learn how to code because they're a really really good platform and they do have free courses available to apply for so yeah i hope you guys found this video useful thank you so much for watching as you can see i'm trying to make my content as accessible as possible and i want to be able to maintain that so i'm going to attach a link to a platform called buy me a coffee where you could literally buy me a coffee and i use that to help pay my translators and continue making my content as accessible as i possibly can because i firmly believe that accessibility should be a standard and not an afterthought i hope you guys found this video useful thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.